Hello, and welcome back to Oblivion. In the last episode, we of course defeated the Mankar Cameron. Today, we're going to go and talk to the Elder Council, or something along those lines. Honestly, I wasn't really paying attention. To the Imperial Palace, or White Gold Tower, whatever it's called, this thing. Welcome to the Imperial Palace. Everything is ready for Martin's arrival. Don't worry. That's nice. I'll make a hard save here just to be safe. Where is Martin? I was told that he had arrived in the capital. Hmm. Now be him now. We arrived in the Elder Council Chamber. I must formally present Martin's claim to the... Ah, uh, to Councillor Roncato. The head of the Elder Council. I've been expecting you. The full Council has already considered the matter of Martin's claim to the Imperial Throne in detail. Martin Septim? On behalf of the Elder Council, Chancellor I accept your claim to the Chancellor Imperial Ocado. Throne. Chancellor Ocado! Chancellor Ocado! The city is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened and Daedra are inside the walls. The guard is overwhelmed. Courage, soldier. We have an Emperor again. Your Highness, what are your orders? Shall the guard fall back to the palace? No. If we let ourselves get besieged in the palace, we're doomed. We must get to the Temple of the One immediately. As you command, sire. Guards, form up and protect the Emperor. To the Temple of the One! The Imperial City is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened all over the city, and Daedra are pouring out. I must re <laughs> I must escort Martin safely to the Temple of the One, where he can light the dragon fires. Close the Oblivion gates and save the city. <laughs> Oh, no, Daedra. <laughs> You dare oppose the right of the Imperial Legion! Do your worst! Right. Oh, an enchanted one. Sword again. Um, actually, could just use something else. Oh, yeah. maybe. One down. more fearsome than you. Just warming up, you pathetic worm! Oh, oh dear, a blade's dead. One of the elite guards, no, two of them. Oh dear. This is the part where you fall down and I can't loot their armor. Oh, Everything. Oh, 
Where's everyone gone? Have they moved on already? Looks like they have. Where am I casting at? Uh, there we are. Maroon's Dagon is here. The barriers between Oblivion and Tamriel have been destroyed. Our only hope now is to defeat Maroon's Dagon and cast him back into Oblivion. Perhaps Martin will know what to do. Oh dear, I guess those are his hands there. Yes. We're too late. Maroon's Dagon is here. Lighting the dragon fires will no longer save us. The barriers that protected us from oblivion are gone. Can we cast him back? I don't into oblivion? see how. Mortal weapons may hurt him, but now that he is physically here in Tamriel, they have no power to actually destroy him. What about the Amulet of Kings? Wait, yes. The amulet was given to mortals by Akatosh. It contains his divine power. But how to use this power against Dagon? The amulet was not intended as a weapon. I have an idea, one last hope. I must reach the Dragonfires and the Temple of the One. Okay. You'll just have to trust me. I know now what I was born to do, but I'll need your help. I have to get past Merun's Dagon somehow. I'll get you to the temple. Then I'll do the rest. Lead on, my friend. Follow me. I'm with you. Can I actually just kill the man who's dead? That's too much damage to me. I need to move closer to him. Right. Are you here, Martin? There's the entrance again. In we go. Martin and I are inside of the Temple of the One. I must get Martin to the dragon fires or all the are lost. Okay. I do what I must do. I cannot stay to rebuild Tamriel. That task falls to others. Farewell. You've been a good friend in the short time that I've known you. But now I must go. The dragon waits. All right. The amulet is shattered. Dagon is defeated. With the dragon's blood and the amulet of kings, we have sealed the gates of oblivion forever. The last of the septims passes now into history. I go gladly, 
for I know my sacrifice is not in vain. I take my place with my father and my father's fathers. The third age has ended and a new age dawns. When the next Elder Scroll is written, you shall be its scribe. The shape of the future, the fate of the Empire. These things now belong to you. And that has been What oblivion. happened? Where's Martin? I must congratulate him. Mayroon's Dagon is defeated. Cast back into oblivion. We've won! What do you mean, gone? We saw the temple dome explode. The avatar of Akatosh appear. That was Martin? Yes. He shattered the amulet. The joined blood of kings and gods. The amulet of kings. The divine power of Akatosh. And Martin's blood. Then Martin is gone. But the gates are sealed. Yes, sealed forever. Merun's Dagon and his ilk can never threaten Tamriel again. Martin is dead, but he died an emperor and a hero to rival Tiber Septim. Mm, kind of. What of the Empire? This victory is not without cost. We've lost Martin Septim. What an emperor he might have made. His sacrifice was necessary, but it leaves the Empire without an Emperor. I don't know what happens now. There are troubled times ahead for the Empire. But now is not the time to worry about the future. Let's just give thanks that we're alive! I suppose. Champion of Cyrodiil. In my capacity as Lord High Chancellor of the Elder Council, I hereby proclaim you Champion of Cyrodiil. And, as a small token of gratitude for your service to the Empire, I have ordered a suit of Imperial Dragon armor made for you. Thanks. Imperial Dragon armor? The one thing I remembered about the Oblivion sort of main campaign is that this armor was a massive disappointment. <laughs> Imperial Dragon Armor is normally worn only by the Emperor himself, but you deserve no less, Champion. Hmm. I know he's gone. As the Chancellor of the Elder Council, my concern now is how to choose his successor. Choose his successor, eh? We are now the stewards of the Empire. We can hold the Empire together in the short term. But to be honest... I don't know what will happen. The provinces have been restive for years, even before the latest crisis. With no legitimate claimant for the Dragon Throne, troubled times lie ahead. Of course. You have earned the highest rank possible in the Order of the Dragon, the illustrious Order of Imperial Knights founded by Tiber Septim himself. It is a high honor. Only six other champions have been awarded in the history of the Empire. Impressive. The dragon will stand forever as a memorial to what you and Martin did for all of Tamriel. Yes, indeed it shall. Right. Let's get out of here. Um... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do now. I can't believe it's over. That giant demon, the dragon, what happened? Have we won? We have. Of course, now I can't go around collecting the rest of the Sigil Stones, but yes. I'm not particularly bothered by that. Uh, let's see about getting this armor. I think I have to wait a few weeks, or perhaps days. Is there a problem, citizen? No. 
Carry on. Oh, well. Anyway, for this episode, I'll end it there. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this playthrough of Oblivion, or whatever it has been. I'm sure I will return. Perhaps even tomorrow. Um, but I may also take a break from Oblivion and play a different game and then come back for the DLC. Something like that. Anyway, I'll see you with whatever I do next here.